Hey, welcome to this special episode of SDR News Live. I'm Andy McCaskey, and as you know, I've just gotten back from HP Discover. One of my colleagues out at HP Discover thought that uh, you would make a great guest here on the program. I want to introduce Diego Cardenas. Hey, how's it going, Andy? Hey, well, you finally made it back and had a day or two to, uh, to recover. Uh, coming more or less into the Eastern time zone, we have a choice of uh, red eye or, or one of those uh, up at three in the morning flights. Uh, you didn't have that problem. No, not at all, but I had a different problem. I ended up driving up there. I mean, as you well know, Vegas is just four hours away from L.A. where I'm based out of, and uh, it was just easier for me to hop on my car and drive down after you know long day's work and go to Vegas and be beat to death with technology and then drive back four hours and <laughs> start all over again my week. Well, it's an intense experience, and, and I guess that you probably started off uh, catching the, the keynote to kind of set the stage for your, for your couple of days. Tell us about uh, your, your keynote experiences there. Um, wow. Uh, what can I say? HP, under the leadership of Meg Whitman, is uh, you know, taking new strides. You, know, you would think that HP, you know, printers, but HP is no longer in just the printer game. They're in the desktop business game. They're in the storage business game. They're in the server infrastructure business game. They're in the software. They're in the MDM. I mean, they want to be that one-stop shop, which, you know, some people may think that as a negative, other people may think it's a positive for all things IT. And, you know, as, as she's mentioning, and my Whitman is, you know, this is the new era of IT, and we want to make sure that HP is positioned to be able to give that those solutions to our clients so this is a pretty interesting keynote with all the real life examples that they give of partners uh that are currently implementing hp solutions uh their moonshot technology which is you know pretty much blowing everything out of the water uh and how they're using you know they're, they're using their own technology which is something that you know before hp used to say we got this new technology everybody use it but we're not now they're like we're using it. If we can use it, you can use it also. So there were those keynotes were not only, uh, and especially hers, not only just a, this is what we're going to do and how we're going to do it is we're doing it, you know, and we want you to be part of that. Yeah. Well, having attended a number of these or similar sorts of events over the years, I was, was really impressed with the facilities that were set in place for bloggers. And I think we had close to 30 bloggers who were participating in the program in, in one way or the other. Uh, the lounge that they had set up for us, we could see very large screens and see a number of the keynotes, even if we weren't able to attend them uh, directly. Uh, but one of the other features of the setup was a series of co what HP calls coffee talks. So you might explain that. Uh, yeah, it was the first time I ever experienced anything like that outside the political range. You know, it reminds me of town, uh, town hall meetings that politicians tend to do with, with their constituents. But uh, a coffee talk basically is an informal sit-down, roundtable discussion with product, project, and vice presidents of particular HP divisions that they're trying to push technology or let us know about. So it's very informal. It's very one-on-one. -on -one. You know, at times we had as many as 12, 13 people, and at times we had probably eight or nine people, but it was great because the engagement was awesome. Uh, we were able to talk to them face-to-face, -face, ask them point-blank questions. I mean, there was instances where someone, you know, felt a little threatened and heated, not not in a bad sense of the word, but because we were asking those hard questions. I'm not sure I mean, if bloggers like I tend to ask those uncomfortable questions because we're not being seen like a regular journalist would be seen, you know, on the public eye. But, you know, we would ask the questions and they would point blank would give us answers. They would also take down notes based on our recommendations. Uh, it was a really healthy exchange of information, ideas, concepts. And at the end of the day, it's them selling us why their solutions, why their products are, should be and are number one in the market. Yeah. Well, I think that the ones that I've been able to attend, you really have a chance to, to understand kind of the vision, the scope, uh, maybe some hints as far as the roadmap for particular products. And, and that's, that's quite valuable. And, and I was not able, because I was doing interviews, I wasn't able to go into the coffee talk room, but uh, I feel sure that there, that there were whiteboards there. And this is one of the things that really impressed me about HP Discover, is virtually every HP 
booth, you were never more than 15 or 20 feet away from a whiteboard. And uh, because as engineers, uh, technologists begin to communicate, uh, the, the first thing you do is, is reach for it to, to draw up you know, boxes and lightning bolts and see what, what can be done. What, what did you see on the floor that, uh, that you particularly uh, thought relevant? Well, too many things. I mean, I don't think we have enough time to be able to cover them all in this interview, but I did see a bunch of stuff that really uh, drew my attention and, and, and draws the attention of the people that read my blog and also are my clients from my company. Uh, in the case of SMBs, you know, we're looking at HPs, uh, small business servers, you know, which are now becoming affordable. Uh, HP has been known to have great servers, but they were always on that higher end price schedule, a scale uh, versus the, the Dell and, and the, any of the other competitors. So now they're coming down to earth and saying, hey, you know, small business guy, we know you're running your business, we want to keep costs down. So we're bringing the cost of these servers down so you can easily uh, implement the technologies that we're trying to set place. Uh, for you to use in your business. I mean, that's one of the things on the consumer side. I saw a lot of new gadgets, you know, uh, laptops that are being married with tablets, which is nothing new. But the approach that HP has given it is a whole new approach, you know, where the tablet is a full blown PC now, unlike other devices where the, once the tablet is detached, pretty much uh, it, it's it's not, a, it's just an Android device. It's just a limited uh, type of, uh, of, of a computing device. This is a full-blown Windows 7 with dual-core processor memory and everything else that you need. So they're trying to marry these two technologies on, on the consumer side and on the printer side. You know, they're also innovating there. You know, they're making sure that any iPad, any Android device can print to every single one of the printers. The print capacities are getting higher. The print speeds are doubling, quadruple, or going twice, uh, four times as much as what they normally do. Uh, so they can, you know, become more relevant. You know, ancient technology is not going away. As a matter of fact, it's sticking with what they're doing. And software-wise, you know, MDM, they're really pushing hard on the MDM side. You know, it's something that I do a lot. And they want to be, they want to make sure that they're in there with all the other large players, providing solutions for that bring you bring your own device community that is becoming more and more prevalent in the United States. I think one of the things that uh, in years past, I mean, obviously in the enterprise focused show, but I thought it was very encouraging to uh, have a chance to see some of the personal systems. Uh, I took a second look at the uh, the all in ones, which we happened to see at the uh, the the workstation versions at uh, at NAB. But these were were more um, uh, office and uh, SMB focused as well. A number of other bloggers, uh, and for me, one of the values of uh, HP Discover is a chance to meet new people who are active in the in the uh, in the technical blogging space. So I wonder if you had a, a similar experience. Oh yes, uh, a lot of these guys. I mean, I've met previous uh, previous and other events, and you know, having a face to face once or twice a year is good. You know, we hang out and talk about. It stuff you know whether it's blogging technologies uh, we're all just a bunch of geeks who love what we do and we sit down and write about it you know no formal training whatsoever but it seems that for some reason people like what we write and they just come over and uh, read and read and read so once they see these guys once in all we exchange stories you know we talk shop they tell us what they tell me what their best practices are you know and i tell them what i'm doing and, and i get to learn not only from you know HP as an event or as a company, but also from the people that were there with me, they give me those tips. I mean, and the yourself have taught me a couple of things here and there. And I don't worry, I use them on my broadcasting also when I, when I do them. Well, I think that it certainly goes both ways, and, and uh, it's always interesting to to meet uh, new folks at uh, at HP Discover. Uh, connect with the people from HP Connect and uh, and uh, and Vivid, you know, the, the software user group side. Just a great variety of, of opportunity there. So, speaking of opportunities, this is your opportunity to tell us a little bit more about uh, what you do and where people can go for more information. I'm what they call an IT consultant down here in Southern California, where I help small business, small medium-sized businesses through through the use of technology to make it a competitive advantage. So. That's what my nine to five is. That's how I earn my living. My blogging is a very niche uh, style of blogging. Now I'm a technology blogger, but Spanish language in the United States. 
Uh, people go, well, why aren't you Latin America? I go, well, because the United States is almost half Hispanic in certain parts of the country. So I find it that I'm one of the few who's doing this in the U.S. So I have a pretty large following. My blog URL is Compu Ombre, C-O-M-P-U-H-O-M-B-R-E. So the computer guy or computer man dot com in Spanish, of course. And in there you can look at what I published. I publish about pretty much A to Z. Like I mentioned, most of my consume most of my customers are consumers. So I do a lot of out of the box experiences. You know, what does it take to what does it take to implement a simple uh, BYOD strategy to your office? You know, nothing high level, nothing in enterprise. I'm more of a consumer level guy because that's the crowd that I have. I could speak, sh- you know, I could talk shop higher end, but I tend to uh, talk more of uh, consumer level products. That's what I mainly do. So CompuOmbre.com, and if you look for me, I have a pretty big digital footprint. Just Google CompuOmbre or Google my name, DiegoCardenas.com, and you'll be able to find me pretty much anywhere in digital in cyberspace. Computer Ombre, uh, Diego Cardenas, uh, thanks for joining us here on SDR News Live. I'm Andy McCaskey, and we'll see you next time.